if you remember back in basic rendering one, we got to a certain point late in the process and then realized there was an issue. Well, the fact is this is a common part of making an illustration. No matter how carefully you plan, something might just go off the rails. The important thing is being able to deal with it. So I look at the illustration at this point, and I'm just about ready to do the final balancing. And I look at it next to my rough and think, you know what? I kind of like the old pose better for the biker. It just seems a little more active because when I went and did my clean lines, I actually changed the pose of the biker. I thought, well, maybe it would be more interesting if they were sort of pausing for a moment and sitting up. And now I realize I actually liked it better the first way. So I could start from scratch with the biker and go through the whole process over again. But I've got so many nice details in there, and all I really need to do is tweak the posture a little bit. So the way I like to do this sort of thing is to use the warp tool. Now luckily I've had the character as its own layer for this entire process, so they're a little easier to isolate. But then it's just a matter of sort of cutting out the character, dragging a marquee around them, and then using the warp command to just wiggle them into place. And the really awesome thing about this is I still retain all the detail, all the brush marks, all the cool stuff that I tried a long time to make is not lost. Sometimes this requires a little painting over the top to integrate it back, but the beauty is the warp tool allows you to keep your finish polish, but just shift it around a little bit. And really this is just one example. The more important takeaway here is that you are not locked in stone ever, especially when working digital, it's never too late to change something. If you get a fresh eye on your project and realize something is amiss, don't ignore it. Because if your gut is telling you it could be better, then the audience is definitely going to see that. So anytime you have this feeling like, oh man, I wish I had fixed this, stop where you are and fix it. And the more that this happens and through experience, you're just going to get better at sort of the technical side of course correcting. There's really no one way to solve problems. Half of being an illustrator is just knowing that you're going to have to deal with problems as they come up and that you're probably not prepared for them. But don't worry about it. It's digital. Everything is malleable. So be tough and fix your mistakes. All right, now that we have the character in a pose that I like a little better, let's go ahead and do the final balancing. <laughs> 